<laughs> if you want holy water with no dirty human urine in it, buy it from Satan. Yes, because that is definitely holy water and not actually the souls of the damned that have been compressed into some kind of liquid form. Now, there's actually holy water. We do holy research and experiments with satanic holy water. Yeah. And you know, I probably wouldn't buy it from Satan directly. I'd have to go through one of his companies where they have the demons running behind the counter. The whole place smells faintly of brimstone. Huh. If I was a demon running a holy water dispensary that was demonic flavored holy water. I mean, first, you'd have to be able to make it. So how do demons make holy water? So in general, holy water is water that has been consecrated to some kind of deity or other powerful being. This water represents the will of that being or represents some kind of spiritual power. In this case, the spirit is either demonic or satanic in nature. So you're going to be getting some water that has some kind of pure emotion like hate or lust. But lust is not an emotion. Lust is a biological urge taken to its natural extreme. But you get something like you get raw malice inside there or if you're just going for generic power, it could just be some very clear, pristine water. But instead of sprinkling in something like alcohol or like salt, you put in a little bit of sulfur. A little bit of brimstone in your holy water. So, after that, you call upon... I guess, in this case, you'd call on Satan to help bless your water. And you'd call upon the demon realm itself you'd like take all of the wailing spirits that are around or maybe just the, the spirits of demons or anything else that lives there and you ask them to help with your water or maybe you are a demon so you go I have the power I am going to put my own essence into this holy water ah. it, it's definitely essence and not anything like a, a biological Liquids, shall we say. I will give you your freedom in exchange for holy water. <laughs> you can bribe a kidnapped priest to make holy water. But would that even make... Oh, there we go. Good holy water? Because they'd be doing it under duress. It might go counter to their deity's wishes for them to be making holy water for somebody who's been kidnapped. So what you might get is not... A holy water from that, you might get something that's... Well... Let's say you have God, and God is giving you holy water for a priest. So God decides to smite you. So the holy water only affects you, and then it does 2d6 of damage to your insides when you drink it. Mm, that, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Though D&D holy water is just holy water with some kind of magic ritual and silver in it. So instead of uh, salt or alcohol or demon blood or sulfur, you got silver. Mildly sanctified water. Yeah, now it's not holy water if you capture a priest and let them do it. It's mildly sanctified water. So, how do you think you make demonic holy water? Demonic holy water? Yeah. You're making holy water, but instead of asking God or asking spirit or anything else to bless and sanctify your holy water, you're asking Satan. Well, then, yeah, you just ask Satan? I don't know. <laughs> you just ask Satan? Okay. <laughs> Maybe you have to put blood in the water. Demon blood? Your blood. My, oh, my blood. So that's not holy water anymore. That, that that's something else. I'm sorry for getting you involved. <laughs> Putting blood inside holy water would be for a ritual to Armok. 
blood for the blood god. Skulls for the skull throne. Though if you're making some kind of bloody holy water, would you grind up bones and throw it in there too? Is this 1.6.4? Yep. Definitely magic maiden. There's no tag on that door. Maybe there is. I just haven't got to it yet. Mud pit. No, I don't want the mud pit. Clay pit. There we go. Yeesh. Yeesh. Okay. I'm going to harvest all the everything here. Uh, I need my pooper scooper for this, though. I don't need these apples. Because there happens to be clay in this area. And I want this, too. I don't remember what I need clay for. I think I need some of it for some kind of building project that is not my wall. So my wall is huge. Take this out. Who's Armok? I have no idea. Just makes me think blood for the blood god. Skulls for the skull throne! You can't put salt in your demonic holy water. Who does that? I do. Because when I make demon holy water, I make it out of salt of sulfur. So it's, there is more than one kind of salt. I mean, table salt's pretty good, I suppose. I prefer to use some of the impure salt that you can dig up out of a mine, or some sea salt is pretty good. But if we're going to have the demonic kind, we definitely want brimstone in it. <laughs> Just imagine demonic holy water being an item in the Binding of Isaac. What does it do? Well, normal holy water just makes a mess when you drop it on the ground. So demonic holy water would have to leave blood. Like the blood trails that are around. Which could be really bad if you get hit and suddenly, well, there's a trail of blood, I'm gonna step on it. Ah, uh, I'm dead. Will you ever put the multiplayer troll moments onto YouTube? Maybe. I'm saving a lot of... Oh, I'm saving a ton of video stuff right now. I actually need to go check that and make sure that I have space to keep recording. Uh, da, da, da. Why does milk exist? I believe the whole reason that milk exists is so that small versions of some kind of species can have food when they can't digest anything else. Such as, we have cows. Cows need to grow up big and strong, but they can't get their own food. So, instead of having to go out and harvest food themselves, they just drink off of their mother. Better than a vampire, where you just drink off of random people, and it's not milk you're drinking, it's blood. <laughs> How many bananas can Raikala fit on her head? Wait, what? Uh, I don't know. We have not tested this. Uh, so my sister's here, and she put ten on her head once. I've tried to put bananas in my head, though I had a basket, so it was about 50. And that was not anywhere near how much I could put on there. And she's stronger than I am, so I would assume that the number is up Wait. about 300. Okay. <laughs> Did you know that Satan sneaks into your soul through your anus? That's just wrong. No, I mean, literally wrong. Where are you learning this information from? Because it's certainly not the Satanic Bible that you should be reading every day. Uh, no, I'm not promoting Satan practices. Uh, really, we're not talking about making holy water that's dedicated to Satan. It's um, Saturn, yes. We're, we're dedicating it to the Saturnalia, the time period where everybody goes out and drinks and... Yeah, totally. That's the way I meant it. I swear. Why not promote Satanism? Uh, from a moral standpoint, 
a lot of Christians are opposed to Satanism because Satan is their enemy. And a large English, yeah, great. A large number of people in the world are Christian, so they would probably try to... I, I, I don't know. Some Christians are going to try and persecute you because you worship the devil. Some of them are going to ignore you because you're not worth their time. But most of them will probably give you a very stern talking to, at the very least. Uh, from my research into uh, like the satanic uh, rituals, the satanic bible, uh, things of a religious nature that relate to Satan that are not Christian but are uh, stand alone. Most of them are self centered. Uh, most of them. Uh, some of them do teach respect about people, and some of them do teach you uh, certain things that you wouldn't be able to learn other places if you're interested in depravity or debauchery. It's like, that's not as present as you would assume it to be. But they're still really self-centered, and... I'm of the opinion that people should be doing things to help each other, or to interact with each other, or... You know, we're not in this life just to live by ourselves, for ourselves, and everything is a means unto an end. So... I would actually recommend looking at all the religions that you can find and make your own decisions about them rather than a specific one. Hey. I do not want a Klondike bar so much that I want it dripping down my neck. Then you don't get one. No. Uh, I will take one for the price of admission, though. I don't know what the price of admission is, so... <laughs> If it's an unborn child, I can certainly find you one. I know exactly where to get one. She may not like that I'm taking it, though. <laughs> Are you referring to somebody I know? It's either somebody you know or somebody you don't know. Because they're at the hospital right now. I don't even know who it is. So it's somebody random in the hospital that has a child that I'm just going to take, and it's not born yet. Yeah, I'm the photographer. I'm going to take them. To take your picture. <laughs> La Vienne Satanism is very much about justice. Not being rude for no reason and understanding properly. True. That is the one particular branch of Satanism that is not morally... I don't want to say wrong, but it's not morally centered on yourself. I mean, it is mostly self-centered, but to the point where you're self-centered on making yourself a better person. Which is kind of weird. It's a really good thing, but the, the context is a bit off. Hedonistic nihilism. Yeah, sure, let's just pretend that nothing is real and nothing is alive, nothing has any meaning whatsoever. I don't even exist. I'm just a random collection of thoughts. I am consciousness inside my brain. You know, and when I die, that's going to be the end of it. There is nothing that could be even worthwhile or possibly exist after this lifetime. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing at all. Are you in one of those I am playing a modded version of Minecraft. Shall I explain the mod pack for you? Okay, well, this is Magic Maiden. This is a 1.6.4 mod pack. It is based around exploration. It's based around finding maids and conquering dungeons. Right now, I'm doing the Minecraft part of Minecraft. This is a biome from Biomes of Plenty called uh, Badlands. There's a biome in 1.7 that's a mesa, which is better than the Badlands, because it's amazing looking. 
whereas this is just a bunch of thin clay up on top of the surface. But, you know, this is like a, a pre-Mesa biome. Yeah, so the main thing that you're supposed to do in the pack is to have fun. And since it's a pack made by me and for me, I have fun in the best way possible. By harvesting clay! Though, there are days when that's not fun, so I'll go out and just crush dungeons and wreck monsters. Is this the 1.6.4 version of Magic Made in Multiplayer capable? Oh, is the- I added to this. Yes, this version is capable of being played on the server. As far as I'm aware, you can just chuck it on and there aren't any problems. Uh, I have gone through multiple versions of the mod pack where there were mods that don't interact well with each other. Like, uh, there was some dolls from an Alice doll mod that was a great mod in single player. You have a doll that can mine and a doll that can place down torches and you have dolls that can pick up stuff. You know, they're rather similar to maids, except that you have dolls that can actually quarry out areas, which is amazing. And the dolls can go on your head, and you can have a bunch of them following you, or you can just pick them up and put them in your inventory. They're, like, less maintenance version of maids. However, on a server, the m dolls crash uh, fairly regularly. It's like, okay, we want to look for something to do. Nope, it's not there, because we're looking on the client. Well, too bad. Creeper behind me? Uh, Chocobo? Could be a creeper. Not like the creeper mob, but could be a creeper. Something really weird happened. You took a blue slime crystal out of a slime furnace, and you exploded. Somehow I don't think these two are related. I think you took a blue slime crystal out of a furnace, and there was a creeper behind you because it exploded. Oop. Oh, there goes that. Oop. You trying to take my foot away? Just my light. I don't need light. Light is for people who like to see, and I happen to be blind. I'm playing Minecraft by sound and touch. See, I actually exist in this world. And I'm running around hitting blocks just as they are. Oh, you happen to explode because you pulled it out and you think it's some kind of weird bug. Well, I'm not in charge of tinkers anymore. If it's on... Tinker's Construct 2, I have, uh, let's just say I don't like a lot of the little changes that were put into that mod, for the sake of changes. I rather like the version that I made, and, well, I'm not sure if it's selfish that I want to play this version, or if I'm, I don't know. I spent a lot of time making tinkers. Whoa. You make a noise back there? You're not saying it was a bug, you're just saying it's really weird. Everybody explodes. His talking is actually just an excuse for echolocation. Oh yeah, I have to keep constantly talking, otherwise I can't see anything. See, I'm like a bat. Uh, not blind as a bat. But bats can see really well compared to me. Oh, it, inventory's full. Glad I brought these bags. Uh, that one's entirely full. Cool. Next. 